Germany, children of the Most High God, we are welcome to our begin daily with Christ. God bless you in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Children of God, this morning we are going to be talking about beware of deceivers. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, faithful Father, mighty God, the Most High, we worship you. We give you all the glory, honor, adoration. We magnify your name because we are God. Father, we worship you. We adore you. We thank you for the salvation of our souls. We thank you for the gift of lives. We thank you for your perfect protection. Glory and honor to your name. Thank you, O Lord, for being our God. Hallowed be thy name. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you, children of the Most High God. Once again, you are welcome. Like I said before, today we are going to be talking about beware of deceivers. Beware of deceivers. Deceivers are people that hide the truth and they sell lies for their own advantage. Deceivers are people that hide the truth and sell lies for their own advantage. So this morning we are to be watchful for those who are selling lies, those who are hiding the truth, those who are deceiving others for their own gain. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8, he says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking for, for who he may devour. I just read in New King James Version. The Bible told us clearly that we should be sober, we should be vigilant, we should be watchful. Because our adversary, the devil, an inventor of evil, is going up and down like a rain lion. In another words, devil cannot deceive everyone. That is why he's going up and down. He's looking for those who are not watchful. He's looking for those who are vulnerable. So he moves from one location to another so that they can be able to deceive those who are not sober, those who are not watchful, those who are not vigilant. And if you go to the book of Jeremiah, I want to read in NIV, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14. The Bible says, Then the Lord said to me, The prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them, or appointed them, or spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, idolatries, and the delusion of their minds. God said we should be careful because Satan can use false prophets to be able to deceive us. God said he has not sent them. They are doing their own things. They are deceiving. They are lying for their own advantage. And if you go to the book of Romans chapter 16, the same NIV, Romans 16, verse 17 to 18, the Bible says, I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from there. Verse 18, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetite by smooth talk and flattering, they deceive the minds of native people. So this is in, 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 in Romans, Apostle Paul told us, he urged us as a brothers and sisters to be watchful for those who cause divisions, for those who teach what is contrary to what we have learned. Because you are doing this for their own appetite. And how can we be able to do that? If you go to the book of 1 John, 
First John chapter four, verse one. First John chapter four, verse one. I go back to New King James version. The Bible says, "Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world." Children of God, as you begin your day with Christ, the Word of God says we should not believe every spirit but we should test the spirit whether they are of God because there are many false prophets many false preachers many false pastors many false brethren the Bible says you should test them and how will you be able to test all spirit how will you be able to know deceivers brethren you can be able to know through the diligent study of the Word of God. Through the diligent study of the Word of God. Now we are going to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 17. Acts chapter 17. We are going to read verse 11. Acts 17 verse 11. The Bible says about the Berean Christian. It said, These were more fair minded than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness. They were not arguing. They did not ask stupid questions. They did not provoke anyone. They were receiving the word with all readiness. The Bible says, And search the scripture daily to find out whether these things were so. They searched the scripture. They were diligent in studying the scripture to be able to discover maybe what they have received is a lie or the truth. And secondly, we must walk in the spirit. We must walk in the spirit. The spirit of God is the revealer of all things. You must be spiritually connected to the throne of grace as you study the word of God the word of God empowers the spirit of God in you and it will begin to reveal the secret unto you children of the most high God as you begin your day with Christ today beware of deceivers they are everywhere they are everywhere so taste us the spirit Test all spirit. Do your own diligence. Study the word of God constantly. Let the Holy Spirit in you lead you. Because in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, it says, As many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Let the Holy Spirit in you speak. And let the Holy Spirit in you direct you. I pray in the name of Jesus. That we will not be a victim of the deceivers in the name of Jesus. God Almighty, we honor ourselves in the name of Jesus. Children of the Most High God, little world is enough for the wise. Beware of deceivers. I pray as you go out today, there shall be open heaven in the name of Jesus. The glorious light of God will shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty will have me look your life and destiny with his divine favor in the name of Jesus. Anything in your life that is speaking against your helper, I will put it this morning in the name of Jesus. God will position you where your helper will locate you in the name of Jesus. Your season of laughter has just begun. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Go and possess your possession. Be blessed and remain blessed. Bye for now.